start going back now. If you follow this path, go across a little bridge, you go up into a field and you can go up onto the Mendips that way. But uh, I'm not looking at my watch until I get back to go in to start going up the hill again. So we're just going to walk down through the valley now. Just met some people who've come for the second time in two weeks to see the bells and the snowdrops and the um, wild garlic, I mean. That's something in there, that's like um, an old Bristol Waterworks or Wessex Waterworks. You can see steps and things in there. Might have been some sort of pumping station, I expect. But isn't this glorious, everyone? Look at it. Look at it, it's absolutely amazing. It's very isolated here, but it is beautiful, isn't it? It's one that, there was four people, two couples, in about my age, I expect. They were walking down through the wood when I was, um, they caught me up. But when we were up in the woods, up the top there, I looked down, I seen a, a bloke all in black walking along. He had a black hat on. He's probably totally innocent, he's just out like me, enjoying himself. But, we, you know, if you meet anyone when you're on your own, and I have met several already, runners usually. But anyway, we don't want to talk about that now. Normally this is what, they seem to be diverting the water somehow. It does, it, when I first came here there was water going all the way along here. I think they've, I think they've diverted it because of the potholers. There's a lot of potholing around here and I reckon they've diverted the water. Which in a way seems strange because that water feeds this valley. Do you know what I mean? Certain plants and everything. Otherwise you will get like the likes of these stinging nettles coming along. See, look, it's bone dry. I don't know if that's right. It's just a, a thought of mine. Right, here's number five, look. Not everyone will go up to four back there. They might not think just to go up to look at the water. I'm looking forward to seeing my sheep in a minute as well, in, my, in the long field. Because they would have all had babies now. Yeah, I'm glad I came out. Because, um... It is a problem when you haven't got a garden, to be quite honest, otherwise you are shut. You are shut off. Though I've got the park a, mi a minute away. I have got the park. But look at this, you can't beat this, can you? Even someone's garden can't beat this. Yeah, if I move again, it's got to be with a yard or a garden. Um, at the moment, I feel safe where I am. Financially, I mean. I can't take any risks. I've been with the same landlord now for a while, so... <sighs> ten, nearly ten years. Nine years. Nine years. So, and I've been a good tenant. You see, I've been a good tenant. <sighs> I used to have my own place, of course. Four bedroom place with huge garden. I've had it all. I had it for 20 years. It was a big family home. We probably would have been more together if the home had stayed. I think. I reckon it would have. We would have still been a family in a different way, but... You know, it didn't happen so... But there again, I've always been one for going out. I mean, why I didn't do all this years ago, I don't know. It's basically, I've waited till I've retired, because there's no time when you're younger. Not for doing it how I do. And I go out three or four times a week. God, look at that. Isn't that beautiful?
Yeah, this is where they've been doing the drainage around along here. Along here. Just can't get over the beauty. The pothole was down here, you see, and I think they've done a bit of work here. All this is to stop it flooding. So I reckon they've redirected the water. So obviously it would fall down here and go straight down there. Oh, apparently it's massive down there. It's really big. It leads to a cave system. A big cave system. I met some of the potholders once. They were all going down there. doing. They were doing some explosive, explosives down there to clear a way through to somewhere else. They probably wait for the drier weather. Right, I'm going to take some photos. Over and out. <laughs>